Hello, my name is Carlo with NetFocus Technologies. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to upgrade the firmware on your SonicWall NSA 3500. To do so, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the latest firmware from the uh, website mysonicwall.com. Uh, you're going to want to navigate there, go under the download section, download center, and select the download firmware for your firewall. Um, you're going to want to save the firmware to your downloads folder um, which is located under my computer downloads and in this case um, this is a firmware for the NSA 3500. It's going to have an extension of .sig. Once you have the firmware downloaded you're going to want to navigate to the administration console on your NSA 3500 firewall. So go ahead and open up your browser and go to the IP on the LAN of the firewall. In this case, it is uh, 192.168.0.120 on our firewall. Uh, your IP might be different on yours. You'll be presented with the username and password. So typically the username is admin. Put in your own password. Once you log in, what you're wanting to do is go to the system section and settings and in here is where you are able to upload your new firmware now before you do that what you want to do is back up all of your settings to do that go ahead and click on the export settings button and click on the export button in here you're going to be presented with the um, save location for the configurations. So click on Save As and place the um, configurations under your downloads folder. Um, click on Save. And to confirm that it was saved, I usually just open the folder and confirm that, and it should have an EXP um, extension on it. All right, now to proceed with the new firmware, click on Upload New Firmware. Click on the Browse button and then navigate to the location where you saved the firmware. In this case, mine is located under the Downloads. Um, it's got the SIG extension on it, so I select it, click Open, click Upload. What you're going to notice here is this page might open up, but it's going to ask you to wait and it's going to go ahead and upload the firmware uh, to the system. So be a little patient, it's going to take at least a good minute. Once the uh, firmware has been uh, downloaded to the firewall, you're going to want to boot the firmware uh, for this uh, column right here, which is uploaded firmware hyphen new. Um, the boot button activates the actual software. Uh, by selecting this option here, you're able to retain the current configurations and simply upgrade the software. So go ahead and click the uh, boot button here. You'll be prompted with the uh, this dialog box asking if you want to confirm, and we do, so go ahead and click OK. During the download process here, it's going to reboot the firewall, so there might be a slight outage until the firmware is loaded, and it should come back up shortly. Once the uh, firmware has been uh, booted up, go ahead and uh, log back into your SonicWall firewall. Um, you do that by just typing in the IP number uh, into your browser. You'll be presented with the username and password again. Um, and you'll see right away that the firmware that it's utilizing is right here listed under the firmware version. In this case, it's SonicWall Enhanced. Um, also, if you click on the Settings section under System, you'll see that it is using the current firmware version 107. Um, at this point, you could also apply the licenses if in case it hasn't been applied. You can uh, navigate to mysonicwall.com and grab your key set license keys um, by going through the um, license key set section. I typically just copy and paste the key set 
into a notepad <laughs> just to retain it and then uh, pretty much uh, log back into and paste the uh, key set into the uh, section where it says licenses and submit it and that's all there is to it I hope this uh, video has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing